More details are emerging over how Nissan's former boss, now an international fugitive, escaped from Japan and apparently was received by Lebanon's own president after reaching that country. Reuters sources are now saying that Carlos Ghosn was smuggled out of Japan by a private security company onto a private jet. Even the pilot was unaware that Ghosn was aboard. The plot is said to have been the result of three months of planning. The sources close to the former auto titan also say that Lebanon's ambassador met Ghosn daily while he was on house arrest in Tokyo. Lebanon does not have an extradition treaty with Japan and says it has no plans to take action against him. The Lebanese president's office denies that the two men met and there are still a lot of unknowns. Lebanon says Ghosn entered the country, the country of his childhood, legally using a French passport, even though the man's French, Lebanese, and Brazilian passports are with his lawyers in Japan. How he got through Japan's airport security, also unknown. And there's a daring tale being spun in Lebanese media that he was smuggled out of his house under surveillance inside a container of musical instruments after a private party. His wife denies it. His internet and phone communications were restricted during detention. Carlos Ghosn was under arrest on allegations of financial crimes before he was fired from Nissan. He denies it all and says he was a victim of a boardroom coup.